what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel look at this nice and beautiful question on the board that we're going to be solving and the question says find all the values of x for which x is equal to the square root of 3x plus square root of 4x well our first step will be for us to get rid of this square root and we're going to do that by taking the square of both sides so i'll take the square on the left hand side equal to i'll also take the square on the right hand side so for the right hand side i have the square root of 3x plus the square root of 4x so i'm going to be taking the square so that the square cancel off the square root so we have x squared to be equal to 3x plus the square root of 4x our next step will be for us to move 3x to the left hand side so we have x squared so as 3x crosses to the left it becomes minus 3x equal to the square root of 4x our next step will be for us to get rid of this square root by taking the square of both sides so for the left i have x squared minus 3x i'm going to be taking the square of the left equal to for the right i have the square root of 4x i'm also going to be taking the square of the right now notice that square can cancel off square root we can be able to expand the left using this property of a minus b or squared and this is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared now comparing what we have here to what we have here you notice that a is in the form of x squared and b is in the form of 3x so let's expand this like this so this is a squared that's x squared raised to the power of 2 that's a squared minus 2ab so minus 2aa is x squared times b b is 3x and then plus b squared so plus b is 3x remember we have to square that and this is equal to the right hand side we have 4x so 4x so simplify for that from indices powers multiply so 2 times 2 gives 4 so this becomes x to the fourth minus now 2x squared times 3x I have 6x cubed and then plus this power here affects 3 and it also affects x so 3 squared is 9 and x squared so this is 9x squared and this is equal to 4x our next step will be for us to move 4x to the left hand side so that we have x to the fourth minus 6x cubed plus 9x squared so as 4x crosses to the left it becomes minus 4x and this is equal to zero now notice that x is common so we can factor out x so bring out x now let's divide x to the fourth divide by x i have x cubed minus 6x cubed divided by x i have 6x squared plus 9x squared divide by x that's 9x minus 
4x divided by x is 4. And this is equal to 0. Our next step will be for us to simplify what we have inside of this bracket. So we have x times x cubed. Now, negative 6x squared is same as minus 4x squared minus 2x squared. So negative 4x squared, negative 2x squared gives negative 6x squared. Now, plus 9x is same as plus 8x plus x. And then minus 4 equal to 0. Let's move forward. Our next step will be for us to group each of the terms. We're going to be grouping two terms each for factorization. So we have x times. Now, grouping two terms, you notice that x squared is common. So I factor out x squared. So we have x cubed divided by x squared. That's x minus. Now, 4x squared divided by x squared is 4. Now, let's move to the next two terms. So, for the next two terms, you notice that negative 2x is common. So, let's factor that out, negative 2x. So, negative 2x squared divided by negative 2x is x. Now, 8x divided by negative 2x, that's negative 4. Now, for the remaining two terms, you notice that plus 1 is common. Now, x divided by 1 is x minus 4 divided by 1 is 4. And this is equal to 0. So, we have x. Now, notice, once again, x minus 4 is common. So, we can factor that out x minus 4. So, x squared times x minus 4 divided by x minus 4. I have x squared minus 2x times x minus 4 divided by x minus 4. I have 2x and then plus x minus 4 divided by x minus 4 is 1. And this is equal to 0. So we have three cases. We have x to be equal to 0. We have x minus 4 to be equal to 0. And we also have x squared minus 2x plus 1 to be equal to 0. So for the first case, we've got the value of x to be equal to 0. Now for the second case, we move negative 4 to the right hand side so that we have x to be equal to as negative 4 crosses to the right it becomes 4. So this is another value for x. Then for this, this is a quadratic equation which has a factor of x minus 1 times x minus 1 equal to zero so this is same as x minus one squared equal to zero so the value of x here is equal to one and this appears twice so we have two values of x here one value of x here and one other value of x here so making four values of x well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.